Now then, it is one of the greatest love stories of our time. Since Peter first caught Katie's eye over the I'm a Celebrity campfire, we followed them from a pink carriage marriage to the birth of their little princess. Now their latest project sees them turn the spotlight on other celebrities. Mm. They've been getting ready for the launch of their own chat show. Hey, Clark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? I used to have it, man. I've lost it. I'm not very good at posing like Kate can pose. In fact, she's fantastic at doing all the poses. Where is that? <laughs> Mum of three, come to me. I'll make you a cup of tea, baby. It, uh, it starts tonight. Katie and Peter Unleashed, and they're here with us now. Morning, both of you. Good morning. So, uh, so you were in the studio yesterday. It was recorded. We've been desperately trying to get clips, but no one will give us a clip from it. So either it was a fantastic night and they're keeping it secret, or they're still editing. How did it go? Do you know what? It was, it was quite nerve-wracking, but then once we got over the initial first bit of the all take we sort of relaxed. But because we've never done it, I don't know how you do it live. I really don't, isn't it? <laughs> I'm As shocked. you can see, I'm letting uh, you yes, roll out. in for a second there. Actually, on the show, I do talk a lot. Yeah. Do but you? I let, you know, interviews, I let Kate talk. No, I he mean, tries she... to joke, and it's just not even funny, really. <laughs> so what's the, what's the format? What, how, how does it work? What will we see? Well, there's going to be a bit of reality, you know, us with the production team. You know, probably behind the scenes of how it all works. You know, you sit down and talk about what guests you're coming, what's coming, who's coming on, whatever. Um, us in the car in the morning, probably moaning at each other on the way there. Oh, yes. And then I having to try to and be one. professional. Do you know you say you know a lot? You say you know, you know, and they don't. Well, they've watched the reality show, Pete, right. so they know what we like. You do know. you argue a lot? Yes. So? We do, but it's uh, the great thing is we've asked them <laughs> not to script it for us. In other words, you know, Pete, now say something to Kate mm. funny or, or start bantering. It's never like that. The truth is, because I'm absolutely rubbish at reading auto cue. And like you guys, you have these things in your ears, and I'm so not used to that either. So I've said, and they give us the stuff to do our homework. So we read it, and then when the people come in, we've just got to remember, you know, just you have, have a conversation. Do you have the thing in your ear? We do, yeah. I do, but it's weird because when you're talking to someone, then they might say, Kate, sit up a bit or smile, and you're thinking, yeah, and then you forget what the other person's <laughs> saying. I'm not used to that bit yet. No, but it's good, I mean, to, because what, we're rookies in the game, obviously. You know, it is our first chat show. There is part reality, there is part chat, so it's kind of a, a great experience for us. It's a great experience for people to see um, see us do something completely so different. So who have you got? Who are we going to see tonight? Tonight we've got, uh, I kept saying her name wrong and that's really bad, Nicole Shez Shezinger. Shezinger. So, what the is? one from yeah. the Pussycat Dolls. Oh, the stunning, gorgeous... Is she a stunning and gorgeous Well, I said life? she had surgery, but you have to watch tonight to see her answer. Do you you like asked that? her if she had surgery? Yes. Um, <laughs> <laughs> also, Matt Willis and Emma Griffiths. Yeah, which really nice couple, actually. And David Platt from mm. Jack P. Shepherd. Shepherd. Jack, oh, yeah. Yeah. Shepherd, yeah. He's got a lot of... Great little actor as well. You know, it's great for us because we get to... to and then there's problems, like people have got problems and we have to answer their problems. And I don't like to read the problems before. No, talking, I like to keep the top of my head. Talking of problems, that's the show tonight, 9 o'clock, ITV2, Katie and right, Peter Unleashed. Blood, now, there has, there has been quite a bit of stuff in the papers, all this kind of, you know, shock horror, Katie's mm. out while Peter's away without her wedding ring on. I know. And rumours that, you know, your two-year marriage is in trouble. So, what would you Explain. like to say about oh, that? Yeah, Explain yeah, yourself. We're going to get a divorce, you know? No, joking. Explain. Don't act as if you don't know all about it, Pete. I know. He I was know. in Cyprus and just, I had the baby and we've got a safe and I'm useless with the combination thing. It's this big thing and our jewellery was in it so I went out and I didn't actually have any jewellery on if you actually look at the picture. I just had like a gold band thing on. Um, yeah, and I went out and they made such a big deal, probably because they don't really see me going out anymore. But you know, I don't care what they say. Do and it was only one certain magazine. Like yeah, mm. well, it's just one certain magazine that every week they seem to write stuff about me and Pete that's not true and they're the ones who don't get the interviews and you know who you are. 
<laughs> so well, that's a big threat. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, right. so the um, so, so obviously that's you say that's all fine. So, uh, so, so if no we was going to divorce, there. like I've said before, we would do an album of splitting up songs. <laughs> yeah, we moved on from that about a half an hour ago, darling. Okay, Pete. Sorry, well, I can't on. see you talking. So, did, um, did you did you relax. see it and think where so where is the where no, is the not ring? at all. I mean, Katie and I, you know, we've got a great relationship. <clears throat> um, we talk to each other all um. the time. Yeah, uh, we're together all the time. We talk all the time. If I'm away in Cyprus, it's only to get the house ready for when she comes out. So, you know, we're always doing things. And some, I said to Kate, go out, enjoy yourself with your friends, because at the end of the day, you've, you've just gone through this pregnancy. You went through postnatal depression before. Enjoy yourself. Mm. But one night of her enjoying herself could just cause so much problems. Because I don't drink anymore, and, and I, my aim was to go out and get absolutely wasted. <laughs> and why not? And I said, the good thing is, if I do it in London, you do get press following you, and you do get probably journalists and all the clubs, and it just goes to prove... Oh, the trouble is you can't you? have everything, can you? No. Because, that, because and you I don't do, mind that, because that I'm is, not going to be unfaithful. That is a spotlight faithful. that you, that you live or in, anything, that you, that, so. yeah, you love. You can't complain you... about things like that anyway. But also, I think a lot of it, because, you know, since you've been married and, and, and you've had two children in a yeah. fairly short space of time, you don't go out. We, we don't see you out on the town as much. So the fact that you were out, people, you know, they'd want to know Probably, because at home, you know, when you have got kids... Like I've said before, when I had Harvey, it shouldn't stop you doing anything. But, you know, when you've got three kids and you work like us and we live in the country, by the time you've got home, you think, oh, can I really be bothered mm. to sit in the car? How, how important is that for you to have, you know, when you're out doing your thing and you both do different things and things together, yeah. how important is that for you knowing that the kids are with P? You seem, from everything I read and things I see, you know, very, very good dad, hands-on dad. Yeah, we are really hands-on parents. Yeah. And, you know, we've got a good management team and... We probably see our kids more than someone with a nine to five job. We're always there in the morning for them. Okay, we wasn't last night, but we left about ten o'clock last night. We put them to bed and everything. So, I mean, the thing is, it's an interesting point you're saying because I love my children more than I love life. Obviously, um, I'm at a great position in my life now where I can work, but I can spend time with the kids as well. So, whereas Kate might want to do ten jobs, I might want to do three. Mm. Uh, Kate still. <laughs> majorly ambitious I'm ambitious but I get to do my work and I get to go home and be with the kids and to me I'm never gonna buy this time I'm never gonna get this time again with them and so well, I'm, I'm loving it you you are talking about having more aren't you I mean you, you oh, said definitely. Like they're three, actually four, an exclusive five. They're about the family and the baby thing our canary it's got two eggs it's been there 28 days and we waiting for them to hatch I've never known of a pet canary to have we English. we wait. We sit yeah. here and wait because every you're very clever because every wherever you go there's always a little a little exclusive. You little drop drop mm. something oh, in thing. Yeah. Never told you no. this before. But you're giving us canary eggs. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> I know. But no, we're waiting for them to like hatch. <laughs> but we, no, we definitely will have more kids. But you know, I want to give my body a rest because the postnatal depression. Then I got pregnant, had a miscarriage, then got pregnant again. My hormones are all over the place. Mm. And actually, Pete said, since I had Princess, all the badness seems to have gone out of me. The only time we <laughs> argue is when we're in the car, and I think I know better than the Tom Tom, which I do. Of course you do. <laughs> We've got a navigator. It's got seven satellites feeding it information. But Kate's brain knows better than seven satellites. But most couples we argue know the shortcuts. We know the shortcuts, It's though, true. You see. I, I argue with my sat-nav thing all the time. Oh. Mine sounds like Anne Robinson. Does it? That's yeah, scary. Yeah, God. I mean, oh, God, where do you want to go now? <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, of course I will. <laughs> Mine gets very cross when I don't do what she says. Make a U-turn. Oh. Immediately. No, I won't. <laughs> you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> but it is that, I think that whole thing of, you know, Couples uh, relate to you because everything you argue about, we all argue about. So exactly. We, we had we a see discussion you do it publicly. before we came on about what it's like, and it is funny, but we love it. And what about the surgery? You, you, it was also in the papers that you were going to yes. have. You're going to have a bit more. They had something correct to write. Yes, I am. December the ninth, yeah. I get them done. I am. They're still going to be big, but yeah. not too big. I'm going to have them a bit smaller Talking and an uplift. Talking about her eyes, of course. Yeah, <laughs> no, because they're nine years old. I've had three kids, and if you do the spoon test, mine, uh, mine pass it. Uh, keeping you know, it the, underneath. underneath. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, so you could. Yes. And so they'll be reduced, and you're happy with that. He's look, got no choice. Look, I married. I married her. I loved her. I met her in the jungle. She looked fantastic. She had no makeup on. Mm -hmm. Everything was fantastic. As long as she's happy, I'm happy. I've loved her the way she was from the start. So if she wants to go change herself, as long as it makes her happy, it's not going to change my what views. What about um, in the other thing? You said you're going to have your boobs done, but, yeah. uh, but the other was, uh, was the... Uh, the vagina. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know, I said that, and I still wouldn't rule it out. The reason why, not just a vanity thing or anything, 
Um, but there's a lot of prolapse in the family, and some families do that. And obviously, Harvey was a big baby for me. I know this is a bit crude, but, you know, they can sort of lift it up. Because I think in the future it can actually help. Well, it's a bit, it's, it's quite it's a big problem. It's not just because for I'm doing it, older, just that yeah. I made a joke of it, but that's probably something that I could have done. Mm. And what about, how's your, how's your health? How are you after your. I'm very well, and I'm sorry to just go back a bit, but what she's basically saying, to have <laughs> <laughs> tightened, mm. either I'm means not, she's not happy. Or she's not You've happy. Start growing. Anyway, meningitis. Right, meningitis. I'm fine. <laughs> I know you must be happy. Right? Meningitis. I feel fantastic. Ever since I had it, my immune system's just boosted up. I feel fantastic. I feel great. More energy with the kids. I know I keep bringing the kids back in, yeah, but yeah. a lot of life. More energy now. with your wife. Hello. Oh yes, of course. We will have more children. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, life's fantastic. I can't complain at all. And, and have you got a good lineup of people that are prepared to come on your, your show on Fridays? Because you, you've yes. said yourselves, if you come on, but you've got to be prepared to talk personally. You've got to yes. give up your intimate details because you've done well, it. But the thing is, <laughs> I'm quite blunt, basically, and I say the things that come in my head. We don't need them to come on the show. I'm not there to stitch anybody up or anything like that. I'm just going to ask the questions that I actually want to know, what no one else has probably asked. You know, like that Nicole Scherzinger. Because um, she does look perfect, and she's American, and most Americans do have surgery, so I just wanted to know. Mm. We want to know the things. Out. We want to ask them things, uh, like Kate said, that no one else will ask. We know Jack's uh, David Platt is in Coronation Street. We know that. I want to know what he does when he goes home. I want to know what he does when he goes out. Does he get in trouble? And do people relate to his character? Do they have a go at him for what he is like on the show? You know, and, and more on what happens outside the set. Mm. Um, and, you know, maybe we're representing just a different type of audience. I don't know. We well, can't wait to see it. Well, yeah, but it sounds good. I'm dying to know whether she had surgery or not. I shall be watching <laughs> 9 o'clock ITV2 tonight. Thank Lovely you. to see you unleashed. You guys too. Yes. Thank you very much. Well Thank you. Yeah, Thank good you. luck.